Steve Reeves, one of the most inspirational and admired bodybuilders of all time. Even after more than 70 years, we're still talking about him. And he is just as popular today as he was back in the 1950s. God really broke the mold after he created Steve Reeves. But what was it about Steve Reeves that makes him so appealing? What was his secret in molding such an aesthetic physique with beautiful lines and proportions? Well, in today's episode, Hercules will guide you through his Mr. America and Mr. Universe full body routine. Let's get started. Steve recommends that you have at least two years of solid training under your belt before you take on the following advanced training program as outlined here. Steve's Mr. America and Mr. Universe training program is a program where you train the whole body each workout no more than three days per week. For example, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. His workouts usually lasted between two and two and a half hours. Steve would usually perform three sets of three exercises for nine total sets. This format holds with almost all of his body parts. When Steve trained with a training partner, he usually rested only long enough for his partner to finish his set. Steve recommends that if you don't have a training partner, or if you prefer training alone, then you should rest just long enough in between sets as it would take if someone else was going through a set of the same exercise. In other words, figure out how long it takes you to do your set, say for example 45 seconds, and then rest about that same length of time. However, between body parts, you should rest up to five minutes. Steve would typically keep the same weight on the bar for each set, but still shoot for his limit. He would perform as many reps as possible. For example, on his first set, he might hit 12 reps. On the second set, he might hit 10 reps. And he might have to go down to 8 reps on the third set. Because if you give it your all each set, you're not going to be able to recuperate quickly enough to always get 12 reps per set. Steve's training logic and sequence of exercises were based on exercising the biggest muscle group, your legs, until last. Otherwise, he felt you would be so tired that you wouldn't be able to do justice to the rest of the body. Therefore, he started from the top of his body and worked his way down to the lower body. This is the sequence Steve recommends. First comes the deltoids, then the pecs, followed by the lats. While working your lats, you're warming up your biceps, so they would be hitting next, and then you would follow up with triceps. After triceps, you would move on to train your thighs, calves, and lower back. And that's it. After you have completed a light warm-up to get your body ready for the oncoming program, you are ready to begin training starting with your deltoids. The first three exercises performed for your deltoids are upright rows, press behind the neck, and side laterals. All three sets, 8 to 12 reps. After deltoids, Steve would go to the pecs. He would do his first three sets of barbell bench presses with a wide grip. Next were incline dumbbell presses. The proper form for this exercise is to start with your palms facing forward at the bottom of the movement. For example, when your dumbbells are lowered in the starting position at your chest, 
as you press up, you slowly start rotating via supination your palms towards each other at the peak of the dumbbell's ascent. Bring them in until you touch the plates together, palms facing each other, and then return the dumbbells back down again to a starting position just level with your chest. The final exercise for the pecs are what Steve Reeves calls flying motion. Lying on a bench with two dumbbells, get in position as you would when you perform a typical set of dumbbell flies. However, the way Steve performed the flying motion was to have his palms facing forward and they stayed in that position throughout the flying motion. Next up are the lats. Steve would start with three sets of eight to 10 reps of chins behind the neck. Next were seated low pulley rows. Steve's technique for performing the seated low pulley row was to keep your body leaning forward at all times and move your arms only do not swing your body back and forth. You're supposed to be working your lats, not your whole body. So, the correct way is to go all the way forward, arms extended, and keep yourself there, and move or row your arms only. After low pulley rows, Steve would do one arm dumbbell rowing, completely lowering the dumbbell all the way down and then pulling it back up into his hip. Now that your biceps are warmed up from training the lats, the only exercise that Steve did for biceps were the supinated incline bench dumbbell curls for three sets of eight to 12 reps. After biceps, he would move right to the triceps performing tricep pushdowns line dumbbell extensions, both for three sets of eight to 12 reps. His last exercise for this triceps were called line dumbbell cross extensions for three sets of eight to 12 reps, which are performed by lowering the dumbbell to your opposite shoulder. Having finished his triceps, he would next go to the legs for which he would perform three sets of half squats hack lifts, and then front squats, all for three sets of eight to 12 reps. He would finish off with three sets of eight to 12 reps of leg curls. To finish off his legs, abdominals, and lower back, Steve would perform calf raises, three sets of 20 to 25 reps, one set of 20 reps of sit-ups, and one set of hyper extensions for eight to 12 reps. Some final training principles from Steve is that you perform all exercises with full contraction and full extension. No half reps or cheating. Also, remember to offset your grip for flies and incline curls and incline dumbbell presses. Every set is performed all out and you just take enough rest time in between sets to catch your breath. Also, the weight remains the same for each set. And remember, take up to five minutes rest between body parts, train no more than three days per week, and each workout should not exceed two and a half hours. And lastly, drink a lot of water while training. In conclusion, I'm sure Steve Reeves performed many other exercises not listed here that helped build his legendary physique. However, this routine outlined here is what he used specifically as he trained for the Mr. America and Mr. Universe titles. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, a comment, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next video, keep training and chasing the dreams.